exciting thing. Hey all you awesomely blossomy people out there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nirupuma and I hope you all are doing great. So before we get started, I would like to give you guys a life update. ta -da! So all of you who don't know, I recently got married in the month of February, due to which I was unable to film or post any video on my YouTube channel. Extremely sorry about that, but um, I'm back. I'm back with some new informative content for you guys. Hope you guys are excited so in the month of february i visited bali such a beautiful place super cheap super affordable budget friendly like one inr is equivalent to 210 indonesian rupiah you will feel like a millionaire so that's the best part so since then i wanted to make a video in which i'll be telling you a list of important things which you need to keep in mind when you're traveling to bali so if you want to know and if you're excited stay tuned Point number one, visa. No visa. Yes, you do not have to worry about visa. It's on arrival and it's free. Like you don't have to worry about how to apply, when to apply, milega ki ne milega and all of that. You just need to buy your ticket, go to the airport, get your boarding pass, clear immigration customs. You'll reach Bali and then they'll, they'll check your boarding pass and passport again and you're good to go. I'm like, how cool is that? Point number two, is money so what you need to keep in mind like if you're an indian you need to convert inr into usd and then you carry that usd to your bali and then the moment you land in the airport in bali airport you convert it into the local currency like it will be easy for you to carry that money like the number of notes will reduce so it will be easy for you, easier for you to carry it all the way to Bali and then B you get the better rates over there apart from any other currency the best rates you will get conversion rate you will get will be for USD so you better carry USD and also why I'm suggesting you to carry money along with you because sometimes the ATM doesn't work over there and that's a quite a risky thing to do sometimes uh, you know you put the card inside and it will take three to four minutes to you know come back so and it will create chaos and panic and so if you want to avoid all of that it's better you carry enough money along with you like so you can use that credit card and debit card that you can use for the hotel like paying for the hotel bill so you can use for that but then for other expenses you can use the money which you have converted now why i'm suggesting you to do it itself at the airport because it's much safer like uh, you do you don't know that you know the money exchanger which you'll find outside like in the city Bali uh, whether they are authorized or no once you landed into Bali you converted the money into local currency now you will go and buy the sim for yourself so you can buy it from the airport itself they have the counters and also you will get enough data in that like which you can use to navigate and look for new places and just in case if you're stuck in a situation you can use that and it's not that everybody has to like for let's say if you're traveling in a group of people everybody doesn't have to buy the same one person can buy it and that would be very useful for you so point number four is food of course you get such amazing indonesian food and you get a lot of variety in seafood and it's really very amazing it's really very fun there is a lot to explore when it comes to food but you can only do when you are a non-vegetarian what will you do when you are a vegetarian like me oh i had such a difficult time like i'm a pure vegetarian hardcore vegetarian all right and i'm very particular about my foods so what you can do uh, you can carry your own food as in like you know the cup noodles and the kakra fafra or um, the pre-mix poha upma what you get so you can carry that along with you so that you don't suffer like me because i am really weird when it comes to food and i get that peculiar smell from the dairy and bakery products especially when uh, places which are at the coastal area like Hong Kong, Bangkok, Singapore, Bali. So it was very difficult for me. Ek to I'm vegetarian, I have a very limited choice. Upper se I became very super, super, super choosy about food. So yeah, if you don't want to suffer like me, please, apna khana leke jana. Also, it's not that you don't get vegetarian food. You do get. So there were a lot of Indian restaurants, good restaurants. 
and you get that authentic taste so which was very nice point number five is water now in many countries the tap water is the potable water but that's not the case in bali so whenever you are thirsty you have to buy a bottle of water i know constantly buying bottled water doesn't sound budget friendly but you don't want to fall sick with the tap water i mean that would be the last thing you want on your vacation so you can get the bottled water from at any of the grocery store like from outside any of the grocery store or supermarket it's better to get it from outside because it will be very expensive in the hotel room so the hotel people will charge you a lot anything in the hotel will be more expensive so always try to get it from outside uh next point is transport the major form of transport which is used in bali are scooters so yes it's the same concept like goa that you pay the money and you hire a scooter the same thing you do it here and you'll get a lot of vendor avoid uh, getting it from the hotel itself because again it will be more expensive and you get much cheaper deals outside so and there will be a lot of vendors so you can hire your own scooter and talking about the fuel it's very very cheap like uh, we paid 8000 indonesian rupiah for 1 liter which is 38 rupees in in rupees i'm like that cheap can you like i can't even remember i was so surprised like it was that cheap so yeah which is very nice and apart from scooty you can go for uh, cab taxis but always go for the blue bird taxi because they have a reputation of using certified meters so that you will not ending up paying way too much on your taxi fare and just be very careful because nowadays taxis in bali like apart from the blue bird taxi group the other taxis they have started this new tactic in which they put a sticker on the front of their taxi which says uh, blue taxi group to confuse people so just be very careful so you look for a taxi which is light blue in color has a number on the front and says blue bird group all right so just look for that taxi and always go for that the next point is shopping of course the most exciting thing i know like whenever you go to a new place you just want to shop 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 but whenever you go for shopping make sure you shop smartly you shop sensibly keep two things in mind whether you'll get the same thing in india or you're in your own country and point number second is is it cheaper over here if it is cheaper in the country you are in then go ahead and buy it. but if you get that the same thing cheaper in india or in your own country so it's better to buy it from there matlab extra baggage pay karne mein kya samajhdari hai and always keep your calculator handy because you know what when you'll go there you'll get confused because there is of course there is a currency difference and the rates will be different so you won't be able to gauge that okay am i paying extra or less so it's always a smart thing to keep your calculator handy so that you can calculate and you can judge or you can gauge okay ye mujhe mehanga mil raha hai ye mujhe sasta mil raha hai and always 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 bargain you know people are well aware like we are famous all over the world we are famous for our bargaining skill so you should not feel shy about it use it all right because there is no point of paying extra for something which you think you can get it which you know you can get it for cheaper right so uh, always bargain that's a smart thing like when when we went for that for that scooty wala thing so when we went to the vendor so he said 15 like 1 lakh 50000 rupees i looked at him i said 70000 rupees like the indonesian rupee i like indian i like yeah i'm like when you know it then why you're wasting your time why you're wasting my time so people are well aware and they will not mind the next point is sunscreen now you'll be like da we know that you know it's a hot place hot climate so we are supposed to use sunscreen there's nothing to tell but still i'm still i'll emphasize on it that apply to all the places which is exposed to the sun and always reapply it because it's humid over there so you will sweat it out so make sure you reapply it and because if you don't do that my friend you will face sun tan and later on sunburn now Bali is the ultimate spot for massage. I'm like you get such amazing massage over there. It's so cheap. Itna sasta. Every day I used to go for massage and you just name the the treatment they have it. Like they in fact they have this treatment which is called ear candling. So basically they remove the ear wax. They clean your ear. I read about it. So many people said that it's not a safe thing to do. So that's why I didn't do it. But I really wanted to try it and it was really something new which 
I have come across. So yeah, that was there. But then there is a lot of things. And yeah, that like when if you go to Bali, make sure you go for massage. As it will be so hot and humid in Bali, so it is very important for you to constantly drink water. Keep yourself hydrated. Otherwise, uh, you'll faint and you'll fall sick. So if you don't want to fall sick, if you don't want to faint, make sure you keep yourself hydrated. Be aware of wallet lifters, purse snatchers, pocket pickers, you know, thieves. You'll find it over there. It's it's I, because it's a tourist place, and there are people coming from all over the world. So you know you they. It's but obvious that you will find such people over there. So just be very very careful. I would like to share one incident with you guys. Like it was the last day, uh, yeah, a day before we were supposed to leave. So uh, there we were. We took a different lane. Like we were going to our hotel. So we were walking to the hotel. So uh, we took a different lane. There this guy, British guy, he was from a different country, he was not from Bali or he was not Indian. So he came and he started hugging my husband and you know jumping. So I was like what's wrong with him, is he high on something, like it's so weird. So later on what I said, after a few seconds what I see, my husband's wallet was on the ground. So what he was trying to do, he was trying to get the wallet. So he was a thief. When he was jumping, he was trying to distract my husband's attention to get the wallet from his pocket. But uh, unfortunately, that that didn't happen. My husband held his hand, and that's how it, the wallet fell on the ground. So it was very shocking. So you know, whenever you go to a country, don't think only the localites will do something like that. In fact, the localites were very sweet. So we we heard so many things that you know, as how sakta hai, as how sakta hai. But nothing happened to us till that day. You know, so be very aware from everyone, not just the localite, but from everyone. You never know, कौन कहाँ से आके you know कुछ कर दे. Bali is also the ultimate spot for water sports. Like we tried, like I don't know how to swim, but still I wanted to try. So I just did uh, sea walking and snorkeling, and it's very cheap. So you should you should try it where if you are in Bali, you should not miss it. And I think that's pretty much it. That's all I had to share with you guys. I hope you find it helpful and if you do, make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified whenever I'll be uploading the next video. And yeah, that's all for now. I hope to see you until next time. Take care.